Hi, I'm Zach with Josh's Frogs. At Josh's Frogs, we've bred thousands of healthy captive-bred dart frogs since 2004. Over the years, we've really refined our breeding techniques to get the absolute most out of our animals and provide the healthiest froglets possible. Today, I'm going to share a few of those with you. One of the most important steps is simply providing proper egg-laying spots. Don't expect dart frogs to breed unless you provide suitable spots for them to do to the deed. While many dart frogs simply require a smooth surface, such as a leaf, all species will appreciate a coconut hut with a petri dish placed underneath or a film canister for smaller species. Do not forget to keep them clean. They should be misted or cleaned or replaced once to twice a week. Nutrition is vitally important for the well-being of your breeding dart frogs. It all starts with diet. Dart frogs need many different nutrients to produce viable, healthy eggs. The best way to ensure your frogs are getting the nutrients they need is to provide a varied diet, such as springtails, isopods, fruit flies, pinnate crickets, bean beetles, rice flower beetles, and the like. Make sure to dust feeder insects with a quality calcium and multivitamin supplement. At Josh's Frogs, we rotate among Repcal Calcium with D3, Repcal Herptivite, and Rapashi Calcium Plus. In addition, we dust with Rapashi Vitamin A Plus once a month for breeding animals. For stubborn breeders, cycling can also be implemented. Some dart frogs, such as Leucomelis and Galactonotus, experience quite a bit of seasonal variation in the wild and benefit greatly from imitating this in captivity. A month of reduced humidity and misting, coupled with less feeding, simulates the lean time in the wild. Follow this with heavy mistings and feedings, and many frogs will quickly reward your efforts with egg clutches. Lastly, patience. This is easily the most important factor in breeding dart frogs. Not all dart frogs are going to want to breed immediately. It may take some time to figure things out. Sometimes it's just a matter of waiting. Keep in mind that frogs start breeding at two to three years of age will probably make better breeding animals than those that started earlier. Older animals have spent more time growing, which allows them to lay larger clutches and sequester more nutrients. Patience. Remember that all frogs are individuals and what works for one frog may not work for another. Luckily for us, most dart frogs are easily bred in captivity. Using the tips that we discussed, I'm confident you can successfully breed dart frogs at home. Looking for a great source for dart frogs, dart frog breeding supplies, feeder insects, and anything else you can think of for your froggy friend? Check out joshesfrogs.com today.